Well, schools all over North Carolina are struggling to hire people to teach your kids. And now some teachers are pushing back on a proposal to change how they get licensed mm -hmm. and paid, saying that it could make matters much worse. Capitol reporter Michael Highland, live for us tonight in Raleigh. And Michael, a top education official says the state is facing a crisis. Yeah, and some teachers we heard from today say, though, there are simpler ways to deal with that than this proposal that's being worked on. And some of them are questioning how much longer they can even stay on the job. Kiana Espinoza is looking forward to the buses pulling up and kids coming back to school, but she's also grappling with a hard question. Can I keep doing this? She's an eighth grade English teacher in Wake County, hoping to have kids of her own one day. What I see when I look around is people have kids and then they can't afford childcare as a teacher, and that's sad. She keeps seeing coworkers quit. Is it sustainable when you see people leave all the time? And that's heartbreaking. Our state is in a teaching crisis. State education officials are considering a proposal that could address that it would be a major shift a new model that would pay teachers based on their effectiveness instead of their years on the job they could make thousands of dollars more each year than they do now pay increases would be based on things like student test scores assessments by principals or taking on additional roles members of the North Carolina Association of Educators spoke Tuesday about their concerns saying it could lead to more teaching to the test and that standards could be vague the chair of the State Board of Education recently defended the proposal that better supports teachers throughout their careers both financially and professionally, and rewards teachers for creating better outcomes for our students. The NCAE called for steps like hiring more teaching assistants, raising starting pay to 45000 a year, and boosting pay for veteran teachers. I'm not suggesting anything complicated. I think what we're all suggesting is that we just need a raise. The Board of Education could consider a finalized proposal later this year, which would still need approval and funding from the General Assembly, and it's not clear if that would actually happen. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.